Hello, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. This next video is a lesson from our one week Pardot course. If you find it useful, you can sign up for the complete course at academy.rotiv.io or by clicking the link in the description below. So let's talk about the most important segmentation tool in Pardot, lists, and how to use them. So segmentation lists are actually pretty flexible in the system. You can, of course, use them to create a list of people that you'd like to send an email to or to send a series of emails to with an engagement program. But you can also use them for suppression. So any list that you create, any list of people, can act as a filter against your outgoing campaign, your outgoing messaging. So for example, you might want to use a list of competitors as a suppression. So you're not accidentally sending you know, important IP or marketing material to your competition. You could also use suppression for VIP customers. Uh, maybe you've got a robust automation program going on, but you've got a few customers that have been with you for a really long time uh, and they have your cell phone number. So perhaps you don't want to automate any messaging to them. So you could add them to a VIP list and use that for suppression. Another use case is for internal testing. You can add your own colleagues to a list within Salesforce uh, as an internal test list and then make sure that all of the emails that you're building look great before you finally hit that send button to your customers. Another way to think about leveraging lists is to combine them. So once we get into dynamic lists, you'll see that we can create rules to pull people on or off of these different lists. But the other thing is you can actually reference each other. So if somebody is on the executive list because they're a CEO and they're also on the California list because they're in Los Angeles, we could combine those two. We could create an executives in California list that just references those two or even references a suppression list to keep people off it. So once you start building these and building out these, these little blocks, essentially, you can combine them in all sorts of different ways. And at the end of the day, we want to save time so that you can get a core group of people that you're trying to communicate with and send a relevant message. We want you to be able to do that as fast as possible. And so having this flexibility with list building is just another tool to help you accomplish that. Thanks for watching that lesson from the One Week Pardot course. If you'd like to see the other lessons, you can click the link in the description below or go to academy.rotive.io. And if you did find it useful, please hit the like button and click subscribe. Thanks for watching.